and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Casey and I am all about spreading plants and positivity. Now today's video is going to be a plant care video all about my banana plant. She is one of the plants that kick-started my addiction. So we're just going to jump on into the video. For lighting. These plants need full sun. They love six to eight hours of direct sunlight, which makes it honestly easier in my opinion because I feel like especially outside, it can pretty much get planted anywhere. But, but, you do need to be careful with the variegated versions because as uh, many of you know, if you keep a variegated plant in direct sun, the leaves will scorch. A lot of plants' leaves will actually scorch lately, so you do have to keep that in mind. Now, I know I said six to eight hours, but my banana plant gets around 10 to 12 hours of sunlight in the summer whenever it is outside. It is winter right now, and it is not looking the greatest. But I feel like it's not slowing down. Did you know that these plants came from the rainforest and they love a humidity and a lot of water? So whenever the soil, the top one to two inches is dry, what I do, you're not going to be able to see this, but so you take your fingers, take one finger, you can take two if you want, two fingers, and stick it into the soil just feel around and now mine is still slightly damp so I don't need to water it but if it feels dry like bone dry give it some water this is kind of a not finicky plant but they do love their water I've underwatered mine a few times and it's it's not a fan what will happen is the trunk of the plant will start to shrivel up and kind of just like flake off from where the previous leaves were so I would try to avoid underwatering but also with overwatering there is always the uh, precaution that you do not want to get root rot which is when water sits in the soil for too long and those roots will sit in the mucky, watery, muddy, whatever it would be considered and the roots will slowly rot and eventually the plant will rot and it will die. So I guess and it, it, it is always better to underwater your plants. If you're going to do one, underwater it but please try to be careful. Just feel the soil. The soil will tell you when it needs water. Speaking of soil, these plants love, they're not too picky on their soil. They just need something well draining, they need a deep pot, and they also need something slightly acidic. With well draining, just anything where you would water it and once the water would hit the soil, it would instantly go down. You can aerate your soil if needed. I just use a fork. I have a dedicated fork that I use this and I just take the fork and I'll just kind of, you could also use a rake. I guess a rake would, like a, one of those little mini gardening rakes, but I use a fork. It works the same and I'll just aerate the soil. Now I keep like the soil super loose up at the top and right before, I'll just aerate it pretty much every time right before I go to water it and it seems to help, so. And whenever I say something deep, it just, it needs a deep pot. Its roots like to grow down. They like to get established. And with a deep pot, they will be happier. And once they are root bound is when you will start to see the crazy growth. Because they can't grow down anymore. They will grow out. And slightly acidic. When I say that, they like to be around 5.5 to 6.5. In different ways that you can raise the acidity in your soil is you can use iron sulfate or sulfur, or you can also use compost or organic material or coffee grinds. All you would need to do is take the used coffee grinds out of your coffee machine and just kind of like sprinkle it on top of the soil. That is the easiest way that I found to do it because I make coffee every single morning. 
So there are two different ways that you could fertilize. Now, the way that Google has recommended it to me is to use a balanced fertilizer monthly or you can use Newt. This is the one that I use. I use Newt, grow with Newt, bio-organic plant food. And this I just find so much easier than any other fertilizer I've ever used. Most, most fertilizers I would do differently with my plants. This, I just find it easier. Literally all I do is I add a cap full into my watering can, a half gallon, and go around and water all my plants. It's no different than any other watering day. So that's what I do every single watering day. And yeah, that, that's the fertilizer I use basically. But uh, there are two things that you want to pay attention to when fertilizing with uh, your banana plant. And that is avoiding the trunk whenever you are watering because you will rot the trunk and without the trunk you will not have a tree. Another thing you need to pay attention to which is like something, it makes sense but it's not something that I personally have even thought about and that's watching the potassium levels. If you give it more potassium then you'll have a better chance of it bearing fruit from what I have read. Like I said before, these are very hum humid loving plants. They come from the rainforest so you need to kind of mimic that rainforest environment where they are. So something you need to keep in mind that when the temperature drops then you'll start seeing slower growth. They will still grow, just not as quickly. And if you want them to be at their full potential growing, I would try to keep them consistently in an area that is 75 degrees and 90 degrees. That is where you'll see the most growth, the biggest growth, the biggest variegation if you have a variegated version. And if you need to winterize it, it's definitely doable. You don't have to dig them up. You can if you want. If you want to dig them up, more power to you, but you just leave one to two inches of the trunk and then you'll just cut it and it's winterized. And then you can put something over it. You can put a tarp over it or mesh or something. Or you can like put it in a shed, put it in a dark room, put it somewhere if it's in a pot. Or you can just bring it inside. That's what I did. I just brought her inside and she's thriving, kind of. She's, she's thriving in a different way. Did you know that banana plants are manicious? They have female flowers, but the plant itself is male. I thought that was kind of cool. I read that. I can't, where did I read that? I read that somewhere and I wrote it down because I really wanted to make sure that I remembered it and I don't remember where I read that. I don't even, is that correct? It has to be, right? As far as propagation goes, you can, they, division. I don't think there is a way to actually propagate the plant itself. Once the pups come up and they develop roots, you just chop them off and put them in their own pot and they're propagated. Hopefully I will be eating some bananas that came off of her, but until then I will just enjoy her very tropical feel in my home. She is one of the plants that I just, I love decorating with. I love what, um, I'm hoping she gets at least another foot or two taller by next winter when she's back here. So that's it for today's video guys. I really hope you enjoyed watching. I hope I covered all of the basics. If there's anything that I left out, please comment down below. I'm trying to think. Did I leave anything out? So go ahead, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe to me if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so you will get a notification every time I upload. With all that being said, I really hope you enjoyed watching. I really hope you're holding it together as well as you can. If, Like I said, if you need anybody, day and night, if you just need to talk to somebody, please DM me. I never sleep. My sleeping schedule right now is I'll go to bed at 3 a.m. and I wake, wake up at 6 a.m. I'm always awake. So if you need somebody, 
please reach out to me. I will leave my Instagram name down below. I try to answer every single DM that I get. I don't try, I do. I promise I answer every single DM that I get. And we will get through this together. So please just remember that there's always a rainbow after a storm. And this too will pass. Bye guys. with iron or iron sulfate. So you can use iron sulfate or you can use sulfur, sul, sulfur, sulfur. You can use iron sulfate or sulfur. Oh, why can't I say that? Bileque. Bileque. <sighs> it's been a long day. I read it on the internet so it, it has to be correct, right? because what I envision is just like